Hi friends, welcome to our channel Global Health Helpline. Today we will learn about the first part of the Remedi Berita Carbonica from the book, Lectures on Homeopathic Meturia Medica by James Tyler Kent. Please see the second part. The link is given in the description box. Please subscribe our channel to be connected with us. Let's begin. Berita Carbonica. Generalities. Berita Carbonica is an interesting study, because it is fully proved and a constitutional remedy. Such remedies are always more interesting than the short-acting, superficial ones. They take hold in deep-seated, long-lasting, miasmatic troubles. This remedy looks towards the development of the young. You will see in the text commonly expressed under this medicine, dwarfishness. That does not always mean small in stature as it is spoken of in this remedy. Dwarfishness in body and mind, mental dwarfishness, and dwarfishness of organs. You realize what precocity means, young persons who are unusually brilliant. Well advanced mentally. We say they are beyond their years. They are precocious. Get this in mind first, and think what it means, and then in the Berita Carb, Constitution, we have the very opposite state. That is what we mean by dwarfishness. Children are late coming into usefulness, or activity, late with their studies, late. Learning to talk, late learning to read, late learning to make the combinations that enter into life. Late learning to take in images, and form perceptions, to take on their activities, to do their work. Late. We say sometimes that calcare carb, is late in learning to walk, but Berita carb, is also late learning to walk, although it has an entirely different cause. To express it in a common, old-fashioned way, Berita carb, is late learning how to walk, even with pretty good limbs. Calcarea carb has miserable, weakly limbs, flabby muscles, poor bones, and hence he is late learning to walk. Late walking, is calcarea. Late learning to walk, is Berita carb. It competes also with borax and natrum myrrh. All three of these medicines have a peculiar kind of tardiness in the development of the brain, so that they are late learning to do things. Late in developing. But Berita carb, leads them all in this late coming into the activities and uses of life. You will have patients to treat, where this slow development manifests itself in girls, 18 to 25 years of age, who do the things they did when they were children, and say things as they saw. Id them when they were children. Childish manner of doing things, and childish behavior. Playing with dolls and saying foolish things. They have not come into womanhood. They are late in taking on the activities and uses of the woman. They lack the prudence of the woman. They have not become circumspect, and say things just as a boy or just as a little girl would say them. That is the dwarfishness of the mind. To appreciate that late development, and to see it in Berita Carb. From all of its symptoms and peculiar features, leads to a strong grasp of the remedy. There is some of this found in such remedies as graphitis, sulfur and calcarea, but nothing compared to this remedy. This seems to suspend the development that makes the child into a man or a woman. It is not a small person that makes me think of Berita Carb, but the dwarfishness that is mental, and that is of organs. Organs, as it were, become paralyzed, or one organ does not develop. It stops, and the others go on. That would make me think of this remedy. A single organ fails to mature, and the others go on, one-sidedness, a partiality of development. Lymphatic glands. The next grand feature of this remedy is its affinity for the lymphatic glands all over the body. The glands all over the body enlarge and indurate, the glands of the neck, the glands of the groin, the lymphatics in the abdomen are all affected knotty chains form in the neck. With a few other things that we will put together shortly we will see in this patient a peculiar figure. It has emaciation gradual dwindling in persons who have been fat, who have been well nourished. It has an enlarged abdomen. It has been found suitable in marasmus, for children with enlarged glands, enlarged abdomen, emaciation of the tissues, emaciated limbs and dwarfishness of mind, and you have there all the whole Berita carb. Marasmus. The patient himself is chilly, sensitive to cold, wants to be well wrapped. Marked weakness with feeble pulse is a strong feature and he must lie down, he is worse standing and sitting. The weakness is worse after eating. His pains are better from motion and in the open air. His complaints are aggravated by cold. The enlarged glands take on tenderness and congestion from being exposed. The tonsils gradually increase. The glands of the neck increase in size, and in hardness, from every cold and from becoming chilled. Swelling and induration of glands. Inflammation of glands with infiltration. Infiltration belongs to the remedy. The glands become harder and harder. Ulcers become indurated in their base. Open surfaces become indurated in their walls. 
When a child has almost any disease, measles, scarlet fever, mumps, or even a bad cold, or a malarial attack, the development ceases and dwarfishness results, a state in which he was not born, but a state that he has acquired, arrest of development. It brings on emaciation and dwindling of the whole body, except the abdomen, which gradually enlarges. These are phases not to be overlooked in the very beginning, because the symptoms only help to establish this basis and these troubles and tissue changes come on as ultimates. Another grand feature in this remedy is the application of these things to more advanced years. We say this is a childhood state, this is the state of youth and arrested development. Now it does not matter whether we have this arrested development in youth, in childhood, or at the advanced age of F. 50. From some strange circumstance which we are not able to fathom we say the individual is taking on the appearance of old age. Premature old age. We call it premature old age. Barita Carb has cured lingering complaints that have resulted from malaria, overwork, mental or physical, prolonged mental strain, when the appearance of premature old age was a prominent feature. Old age creeps upon him too soon. There is but little difference between childhood and old age, and hence old age is called second childhood. But we always regret to see a man under 70 becoming childish, and yet we do see many becoming simple and childish. It does not mean merely imbecility, but childlike behavior doing and saying things like a child. So in premature old age these symptoms lead us to think of Barita Carb. Barita Carb has cured fatty tumors, encysted tumors, lupus, outward growths of tuberculous character, sarcoma, and it has mitigated the pains and sufferings and has prolonged life in cancerous affections. Mind. Mentally it is worthy of careful study, and we will see cropping out in the mental symptoms all of the phases intermingled with tissue changes. The Barita Carb child will be seen hiding behind the furniture when strangers come in. Will hide as for shame of something or as if afraid. It imagines all sorts of strange things that it is talked about or laughed at. It does not seem to advance. It does not seem to do any good to teach it, for it does the same things over and over and remains untrained. They either cannot comprehend, or they cannot memorize, or they cannot maintain a thought, and you go over it and over it, and the mother wonders if that child is ever going to learn something, and the teacher reports that the child lacks capacity. The teacher cannot comprehend it, the mother cannot comprehend it, but the homeopathic physician should know all about it at once. If he knows his materia medica he should be well up in the development of a feeble child. Those who are going towards rickets, who are feeble, who are always depending on somebody, fitted only for menial places. The homeopathic physician does well when he trots the little Johnnies and the little Susies on his knee and takes a good fair observation of their ability, and of what they lack. And understands how to build up what is lacking. Is not that in itself worth working for. It requires all of the potencies that have ever been made to master constitutions. Some will require medium potencies, some very low, some very high. Let us not deprive our little ones of anything they need. Only so we look forward to the highest use to develop them into their fullest capacity. There is an expression here in the text. Want of clear consciousness. Quote, Do we not see from what I have said, what that must mean in this remedy, and that it is different in this remedy from what it is in a good many others? And yet if you had read that symptom first you would not have appreciated it. A want of clear consciousness. Especially in old age has that been useful. It is not that confusion of mind that we know to be dizziness. But he is not clear in his intellect. We see how this medicine takes hold of the intellect. It takes hold of his memory. It begins with a feeble state, and it gradually travels toward imbecility. You press it to its extreme and it has imbecility, and up to this we have degrees all along the line from the very beginning, from a mere matter of cloudiness in his thoughts to imbecility. When the Barita Carb babies appear in the clinic they will keep the hand up over the face and peek out through the fingers. Bashful. Timid. Easily frightened. Afraid of strangers. Other remedies have similar features but it is a strong feature of this medicine. Withered face. Sickly countenance. It is the idea of hiding, the idea of timidity. The child does not want to play, and it sits in the corner. Does not pay any attention to its hammer, if it is a boy, or its doll, if it is a girl. Sits and sits does not seem to be thinking, a lack of ability to think. Children grow up without any distinctiveness, without any ability to perceive, and therefore fail to develop. Always borrowing trouble. Like causticum, fear of something going to happen. Full of imaginations, imaginary cares and worries. Hatching up all sorts of complaints and grievances that may happen. A good deal like our Senecum children in a constant whining mood. Always whining. Running through the complaints will be the sufferings of the parts, or the men's symptoms. 
The more he thinks about the complaint, the worse it gets. If he thinks about his troubles, his sufferings, they at once grow worse. Premature old age and brain fag from prolonged mental work. Thanks for watching full video. Please subscribe.